Today in our reading from How to Make Good Pictures, we are exploring the topic of outdoor pictures at night. I've seen many of our followers out there post such pictures, and I figure you could use some tips. <clears throat> outdoor pictures at night. There is something about pictures made outdoors at night that arouses the imagination and fascinates one. They are often pictures of ordinary subjects made under unusual conditions and are therefore more interesting than the usual type of picture made by daylight. A novel idea for your collection would be to make two pictures of a building or other street scene, one by daylight and the other at night, both pictures being made from exactly the same position. The comparison would be most interesting. Pictures made after dark of buildings with their myriads of brilliantly lighted windows, reflections and water and from wet pavements, campfire scenes and fireworks remind one of fantastic scenes such as described in fairy tales. A large industrial plant, like a steel mill or a blast furnace, will offer excellent opportunities to make unusual pictures at night. The flying sparks from the chimneys and the bright light reflected on the smoke will prove most effective. City skylines, especially across a body of water which reflects the lights, are striking. Such pictures can be made with any kind of camera, with a time exposure adjustment. Naturally, for time exposures, the camera must be placed on a tripod or some other convenient solid support. While excellent pictures can be made with Kodak Verichrome, much shorter exposures can be made using Kodak Super XX. Uh, both have the special backing which prevents halation or fuzziness around the bright lights in the picture. With Kodak Plus X-Pan Film for miniature cameras, use the next stop opening larger or give twice the exposure given for Kodak Super XX Pan Film. With Kodak Panatomic X-Film or Kodak Verichrome Film, use the second stop opening larger or give four times the exposure. It will be necessary to make longer or shorter exposures than given in the examples on the following pages to agree with the kind of film used. Be sure to include many outdoor pictures at night in your photograph album. The beautiful results will be a constant source of pleasure. How to make good pictures. Hey gang, a uh, quick rundown for you this morning of some of the cool new products that we have in stock at the store right now. I know I like to usually talk about the fantastic used pieces that we've got, but here's some of the new stuff. For instance, we've got a Nikon D7500 DSLR. If you want something that's rough and tough and you can take pretty much about anywhere and uses those crop sensor DX lenses, here you go. A very cool body. Um, if you are a Sony user, and particularly if you're doing uh, interior photography, real estate photography, stuff like that, you need something nice and wide. Uh, if you're working with their crop sensor bodies, we've got this excellent Rokinon 12 millimeter f2 lens. So that 12 millimeters on a crop sensor converts to about 18 millimeters at f2. Kind of fantastic. It is a manual focus lens, so do be aware of that. Really good lens, though, and a really great price. Uh, from Canon for the R users. We have the beautiful 85 1.2. Why is this still here? Someone needs to come and buy this beautiful portrait lens now. Um, if you are a Sony E-mount user, also full frame now, we have the Tamron 70 to 180 2.8 lens. Uh, it's a great way to get a fast aperture telephoto lens. If that's what you've been needing, uh, yeah, come look at this. It is a great lens. Uh, oh yes, and then from Olympus, uh, you know, it's wintertime. We're outdoors doing funky uh, cold explorations and exploring and stuff like that. Uh, this is their weatherproof kit. It's their EM5 Mark III with the 14 to 150 lens. Both are weatherproof. So take this camera and lens wherever you want and do whatever adventures you want. Uh, Olympus has you covered. Oh, and then just a couple used pieces because really we have a lot of great used stuff and you should see it. Um, we still do have this Leica M10. It's beautiful, had a CLA from Leica themselves recently, and that is selling for $5,900. I'm gonna leave it right there, just so you can keep looking at it. Look at that, M10, it's beautiful. Also then, for the medium format users in the room, uh, we've got Mamiya 645 manual focus. I have a 150 millimeter F 3.5 <laughs> portrait lens uh, for a mirror. $125. Uh, if you're doing shooting 645 and want to get that nice portrait uh, telephoto compression, here you go. If you want something also for portraits but more flexible, we also have the 55 to 110. Uh, 55 to 110, what is it here? 55 to 110 f4.5 constant zoom lens. And this is only also selling for only 140 bucks. So if you're a Mamiya 645 user, 
we've got some great options here for you. Thank you for listening. Thanks for watching and come by the Leica. Bonus reading, bonus reading. Today we have a little bit of extra for you and it's coming to you from Benjamin Franklin from the Dover Thrift Edition of Wit and Wisdom from Poor Richard's Almanac. I bring you the sayings, the wit of Ben Franklin on social relations. He that drinks his cider alone, let him catch his horse alone. An open foe may prove a curse, but a pretended friend is worse. Tart words make no friends. A spoonful of honey will catch more flies than a gallon of vinegar. Fish and visitors stink after three days. On the topic of vice, people who are wrapped up in themselves make small packages. Let thy vices die before thee.